Hey, what we'll do with y'all? Switch and entertain, putting y'all on tune to all y'all favorite rappers and celebrities like But first, I need to do a favor, don't y'all first. Please like, comment, subscribe to this video, hit that notification bell as well. That'd be great to search this channel and put y'all on tune to this story. Now, today, this man, young boy, had made his appearance in court. This man had finally received his results for having pled guilty to his gun charges dang all the way back to 2020. Although young boy had originally received his sentence on the day of September 10th this year, young boy today had stood before the judge in a court trial to hear the full extent of the charges and the sentencing that he was faced with. Young boy has been issued 27 months in confinement, which totals out to two years and three months in prison, while upon release he will have to serve five years of supervised probation. Now when it comes to him having committed prescription fraud, which dates all the way back to September of 2023, all the way to February of this year of 2024, he is expected to pay a $25,000 fine. The judge during the court hearing had acknowledged that Youngboy has a cashier's check that amounts to the fine that he was given. And knowing that Youngboy could easily pay out the $25,000 fine, they had decided to give a reduction towards the four felony counts that he was dealing with, with him having committed identity fraud and forgery. The court had ultimately made the decision to close the case pertaining to the Utah prescription ring that Youngboy was rattled in, and primarily focused on his charges dang all the way back to 2020. The judge would justify the decision making by stating that there was a global resolution by both state and federal prosecutors that they wanted Youngboy to serve a lengthy sentence and confinement, and following that, after being released from incarceration, be under federal surveillance for the next five years on probation. The judge had continued on to say that federal agents will ensure that Youngboy does well in life, manages to stay out of trouble, and does not gain access to any dangerous weaponry, especially firearms in particular. Now, when it comes to the recent case that had been dismissed for the $25,000 fine, this is actually what would have Youngboy taken it to confinement on the day of April 16th this year. So Youngboy along with his accomplices has staged a drug ring within the state of Utah. Together they would gain access to prescriptions, with Youngboy making fraudulent calls directed towards pharmacies. Youngboy mainly had the intent of gaining access to promethazine codeine, which as previously stated he was successfully able to do from September of 2023 all the way to February of 2024. Youngboy would call the pharmacies using a fake voice and identity as well. Youngboy did not take long to blow his cover is he had failed to mute himself as his brother would be alongside him instructing him on what to say. This all ended up being heard by the recipient of the call. It is also being said that at some points it seemed as if Youngboy was reading off of a script. The pharmacist who was the recipient of Youngboy's call also took notice that the caller had a southern accent. The fact that Youngboy had pronounced the word ask his accent instead gave away a southern dialect. By the month of January this year, Cache County law enforcement were already on to Youngboy and his accomplices having involvement with the fraudulent pharmacy orders that were being made for pickups. Once Youngboy had made yet another call to have a pharmaceutical order set in motion, Youngboy would have two women pull up in a white Chevy to hold to the pharmacy to pick up the prescription. Once the women had arrived to the pharmacy, they would end up being taken into custody. It would later be discovered that the white Chevy to hold was in fact registered under Youngboy's name. Following the arrest having been made, the white Chevy to hold was taken to the impound and detectives would end up calling Youngboy about the vehicle. When questioned about who the two women were, Youngboy would claim that they were his family members. After this, it did not take long for detectives and cash County law enforcement to advance their investigation into Youngboy. They end up raiding Youngboy's house in Utah and they will end up performing a wide extensive search. Police law officials will come across a firearm and will question Youngboy about who it belonged to. Youngboy claimed that the weapon belonged to his wife. Delving further into the search, police law officials did in fact come across prescriptions for both promethazine and codeine. Delving further into the search of the household, prescriptions of promethazine and codeine were found labeled with fake names that Youngboy had provided in the phone calls. So with that being said, it's quite surprising to see that this case was abandoned entirely, given that he was faced with 63 charges in totality in connection to the fraudulent prescription orders that he had made. So as previously stated, the time that Youngboy will be serving is mainly due to the charge that he had received in the year of 2020. During a music video, he would end up being apprehended along with 16 other individuals that were connected to him. He was found with a firearm on his person while being a convicted felon, and the many charges that he ended up receiving would end up being detrimental to his career all the way up to this point. Youngboy was in his hometown when the arrest had been made within the Baton Rouge area. But yeah, y'all just go cap all this villain know y'all things in the comments. Are you guys surprised that Youngboy was able to have his case abandoned entirely by paying a $25,000 bond when it came to the fraudulent prescription orders that he made? 
How much time served do you guys think the young boy may end up getting when it comes to lessening his sentence given that he has already served a great deal of time in prison? And to cap that out, what location do you guys expect young boy to be placed in when it comes to his five years of probation? Do you guys think he will be returned to Utah, Baton Rouge, or do you guys think it will be another location? Let all that be known in the comments, y'all. That's gonna do it. I'm out. Rage on that beat, going crazy.